my liege, I am advised what I say, neither disturbed by the effect of wine, nor heedy rash, provoked by raging eye. Albeit, my thoughts might make one wiser mad. This woman, lock me out this day from dinner. That goldsmith there, will he not back with her, could witness it, for he was with me then, who parted with me to go fetch a chain, promising to bring it to the to, to, to the Poppentine, Balthazar and I did dine. I, I, I did not dine, and he not coming thither, I went to seek him. In the street, I met him, and in his company, that gentleman. There did this perjured goldsmith swear me down that I of this day received the chain, which God he knows I did not say. For the witch. He did arrest me with an officer, I did obey, and sent my peasant home for certain ducats. He with none returned. At the fairly I, I bespoke the officer to come with me in person to my house. By the way, we met my wife, her sister, and a rabble more of vile confederates. Among them, they bought a pitch. A hungry, lean-faced villain, a, a, a mere anatomy, a, a mountbank, a, a threadbare juggler, a, a, a fortune teller, a needy, hollow-eyed, sharp-looking wretch, a dead-looking man. This manicure slave took on him as a conjurer. Gazing in mine eyes, feeling my pulse, and cries out, as it were, with no face, I was possessed, and then altogether they fell upon me, bound me, and bore me thence to a dark and dankish vault at mine house, and there they left me and my man, both bound together, till gnawing with my teeth my bonds in sunder, I gained my freedom. And immediately ran hither to thee whom I beseech to give me ample satisfactions for my for my great shames and great indignities. <laughs>